Yole ice cream tastes great, extremely low in calories, but it costs thirteen fifty per top. If I eat this every day, I'm gonna go broke for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna make my own and indulge myself in this guilt-free experience daily. First thing I notice is its soft and smooth texture. It isn't overly sweet. I think it nails the sweetness really nicely. The difference between this ice cream and others is its sugar-free property and being so low in calories. They use an elaborate list of stabilizers and emulsifiers to achieve their beautiful texture. Obviously, we can copy their ingredients to a T, but those ingredients aren't really accessible to the average home cook. So we gotta challenge ourselves and recreate it using simpler ingredients. The goal is to create a creamy ice cream without increasing the calories too much. It's gonna be a tough one, but we're gonna smash it for sure. Strawberry is a great option to start with being so low in calories. But obviously if you use other fruits like mango or banana, you can get an even creamier texture. The key point to making a successful ice cream is to prevent crystallization. Crystallization in this context would mean the formation of large ice crystals between the water molecule. It is what preventing it from being extremely creamy. Imagine eating shaved ice. Firstly, we will make the strawberry mixture. Place 90 grams of strawberry, 25 grams of strawberry jam into the blender. Blitz it till smooth. Add 3 quarter teaspoon of gelatin. Stir and blend it till dissolve. Heat it till warm either on the pan or in the microwave. Place in the fridge for a few minutes till it cooled down. Strawberry consists of 91% water. Those water will harden and crystallize, sabotaging our texture. So for the stabilizer, we're going to use gelatin. Gelatin will immobilize the water in the strawberry, preventing it from crystallizing. The choice for gelatin as a stabilizer is because it is easily accessible as well as good property to prevent crystallization. And it also gives a nice creamy, thick consistency to the whole ice cream. Add 280 ml of non-fat Greek style yogurt. Pure Greek yogurt tends to have a chalky texture which will amplify when freeze. Thus, search for a brand that says Greek style. I like to use the brand Emmy as it has a more thick curdled consistency as compared to others. Add salt, xylitol, skim milk powder, glycerin, and lastly strawberry extract. And mix well. Strawberry by itself cannot recreate the strawberry flavor that we're looking for, so we need the aid of a strawberry extract. I highly recommend that you use natural strawberry extract instead of those artificial ones. The higher quality of extract you use, the tastier it will be. It will greatly affect the taste of the ice cream, so do take note of that. I've also used strawberry jam into the mixture, as this particular brand has dates and grape juice in it. It gives it that distinctive taste. Skim milk powder is used to increase the creaminess of the ice cream as it adds dry mass into the mixture. And at the same time, it dulls the sourness of the yogurt. Sugar plays a very important role in ice cream, not only for taste. It is what preventing it from being frozen solid, like water in the freezer. When sugar is added into the mixture, it will lower the freezing point, which means your ice cream will stay creamy and scoopable even after being froze. But to purely rely on sugar to lower the freezing point isn't sufficient, as we will have to overly sweeten it. Hence, most recipes that purely calls for sugar will definitely fail. Trust me, I've tested multiple times. We will use two types of sweetener, glycerin and xylitol. When I purely add xylitol into the mixture, the ice cream still froze solid. But with the added glycerin, the ice cream managed to stay decently scoopable even after being froze. To properly calculate the right amount of sweetener needed, we need to look at the freezing point depression factor. The higher the value, the more potent it is, which is directly related to the amount of molecule present in the mixture itself. Hence, we need different types of sweetener to achieve a certain consistency for a given temperature. Estradol is a type of artificial sweetener that is really low in calories. So you can swap up half the xylitol with estradol to produce a very low caloric ice cream. But do take note that too much estradol will cause crystallization. So try to balance it properly. Once the strawberry mixture has cooled, add it to the yogurt and mix well. Place in the chiller for 40 minutes. Repeat once mixture thickened from the gelatin. 
the thicken mixture will allow us to at least incorporate some air into it. It will also help prevent crystallization by making it more airy. From here, if you have an ice cream maker, you're all set. You can get a texture rivaling even your lay. But if not, let us hand churn it. Place mixture in the freezer. Every one hour, break up any large chunk of frozen pieces. Repeat 4 to 5 times till you get a soft serve consistency. Then, place in a container and freeze for at least 6 hours. Hand churning will never be better than an ice cream maker. An ice cream maker will instantly break down any tiny ice crystal being formed instantly. Having said that, hand churn will still get you about 80% to 90% of the way, and it's still a good viable option. This recipe will save you almost half the amount compared to buying a tub in the supermarket. So an ice cream maker might be a good long-term investment, as sugar-free, low-calorie ice cream doesn't come cheap. We managed to create a creamy ice cream without much equipment. It can be straightforward but also quite tedious. In terms of price, we went from $13.50 to $7.25 per tub, saving you quite a dime. You could whip up a bigger batch if you're worried about time. So like and subscribe if you like what you see. Ask me any questions down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.